Good morning. Good morning, Father God. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Jesus. Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, we come to you right now, God, just to say thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for waking us up to another day that wasn't promised to us. We thank you, oh God, for just encamping your angels around us, oh God, and protecting us last night, oh God. Father God, we give you all honor, praises, and glory for who you are and all that you are, God. You are Jehovah Jireh. You're Jehovah Rapha, you're Jehovah Shalom, you're Jehovah Nisi. We thank you, oh God, for being our healer, our provider, our way maker. We thank you, oh God, for being our deliverer. But more than that, God, we thank you, oh God, for being our savior. Father God, we come to you right now, God, as believers of your word, oh God, as believers, those of us who have accepted you as our Lord and personal Savior, God. We come to you right now, God, saying thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you've always been there for us, oh God, that you've never lost a battle. You've never left us hungry, oh God. You've always clothed us. You've always fed us, oh God. You've always got us out of trouble, oh God, even when we didn't listen to you, oh God. You've always been that person for us, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We ask that you forgive us, oh God, for second guessing the Holy Spirit, oh God, that we did not allow you to lead and guide us in the right direction, oh God, because we know, God, within our hearts, oh God, that if we allow you to lead and guide us, oh God, that you will lead and guide us in the right direction, oh God. So Father God, we come right now, God, just asking you first to forgive us of not doing that, oh God, and to give forgive us of our sins of omission and commission oh god and just to help us oh god to continue to become the men and women of god that you have called us out to be god in such a time as this lord you saved us oh god from ourselves a lot of times, oh God, not just from other people, God, or other things that were trying to get to us, oh God, you actually saved us from ourselves, oh God. So Father God, we owe you a big thank you, oh God. We come back just to say thank you on this morning, oh God. And Father God, we pray, oh God, for those that don't know you, God, that they would get to know you, God, as their Lord and personal Savior, God, and that they would begin to trust you, oh God. And so my prayer, oh God, is that as we always say that we are saved and we are Christians, oh God, and how we try to put on our best face for you, oh God, I pray, God, that we are, will allow the unbelievers to see in us what we want you to see in us every day, God. Father God, we come before you, oh God, just to say thank you, oh God. And Lord God, we don't want to just put on our best behavior for you. Help us to put on our best behavior for those that don't know you, oh God, that they will want to get to know you, oh God. Help us to be kinder today, oh God, than we were on yesterday, oh God. Help us to be more compassionate and gentle, oh God. And help us to have patience, oh God, and walk in this spirit of faith, oh God, and knowing and trusting you, oh God, that you promised, oh God, that no matter what we go through, that you would never leave us, oh God. Father God, remind us, oh God, that you said, God, that what concerns us concerns you, and that we should cast our cares upon you because you care about us, oh God. So Father God, as we show that to those that don't know you, oh God, we don't have to browbeat them into telling them, who you are and what you've done, they can see the glory of God in our lives, oh God. So help us, oh God, to walk into the anointing and walk in the glory and the goodness of God. Because Lord God, you have been mighty good to all of us on today, oh God. And Father God, remind us, oh God, we don't have to think back too far, oh God, for what, the, what you've already done. Because Lord God, you woke us up this morning. Father God, you lifted up, bow down heads. You fed us when we were hungry. You clothed us, oh God. Father God, you have always been there for us, oh God. You kept us, oh God. You've been with a lot of us in the sick room, oh God. In the hospitals, in the doctor's office, oh God. You've healed and delivered our loved ones, oh God. Lord, you healed and delivered us from shame, hurt, and defeat. You set us free, oh God. You promised, God. Your promises to us as believers are yes and amen. You have never left us, oh God. Wherever we are, you are there, oh God. 
You are there, oh God. You are our protector, oh God, our deliverer, our healer, our way maker, our provider. We thank you on today, oh God, for just being who you are and all that you are in our lives, oh God. We pray, oh God, for everybody, God, that don't know you, God. Let your light shine, God. Let our lights shine, oh God, that they may come to know you through us, oh God. Have your way, God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We give you all honor, praises, and glory, God, for the lives and souls that are going to be changed, that are going to be saved and set free, healed and delivered, oh God. Be glorified, God. We thank you, oh God, for being the God that you are. We thank you, oh God. But just being here for us, oh God, in our time of need, in our time of trouble, in our times of despair, in our times of loneliness, oh God. We don't have to worry about you not texting us back. We don't have to worry about you not calling. We don't have to worry about you not answering the phone. We don't have to worry about any of that with you, God. We thank you, oh God, that we can trust you, God, when we can't trace you. We thank you, oh God, for loving us in spite of ourselves on today, God. You and you alone are worthy, God. You are worthy of all honor, all praises, and all glory, God. You make all things possible. You make the impossible possible, God. You are a miracle-working God. Anything that may be too hard for man, it's too hard for man if you don't allow him to do it but it's not too hard for you, God. Thank you, Lord, for being bigger than our circumstances. Thank you, Lord, for just being here for us, God. Have your way in all of our lives, God. Get the glory out of all of our lives, oh God. I pray, God, that as believers, we decrease that you may increase, oh God. That people will see you in us, oh God. Because we have decreased that you may increase, oh God. Because you said, God, if you be lifted above the earth, that you will draw all men. So help us, oh God. Remind us, oh God. We already know what you did, oh God. We know, God. But sometimes, somehow, the enemy will try to make us forget. But we know, God, in ourselves and in our minds, that you have never lost the battle. You have never left us. So we give you all honor, praise, and glory today, oh God. Each and every day of our lives, oh God. Teach us, oh God, that when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Teach us, oh God, to spend that time with you, God. Praying, oh God, and getting to know you, oh God. Having conversations with you, oh God, can bring about some change in our lives, oh God. I pray, God, that we will continue as believers to draw nearer to you because you said in your word, if we draw nearer to you, that you would draw nearer to us. And I pray God that we would get so close to you that the unbeliever would say, hey, what must I do to be saved? We love you, Lord. We believe you, we worship you, we adore you. Have your way in all of our lives and we thank you in advance for what you're gonna do. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' matchless name, amen. Amen, amen. And as we lift up the prayer requests that are going before you, Heavenly Father, we're praying uh, today for all of the emergency crews that are all over the country in this disastrous time, Lord, with uh, the weather being the way that it is. Father, we know that it's all in your hands. Before the world was formed, you knew this day would come, Lord. But we're asking that you continue to lift up and continue to keep those who are part of the emergency first responders and those that are struggling in these times of great peril with the weathers and the storms, Lord. We're also praying for those of us, Father God, who have so many things on our mind that it is difficult for us to get sweet rest at night and are struggling with sleeping patterns, Lord. We're praying for those who are suffering from insomnia, and we're asking that you give them the peace and the rest that they need, Lord. Help them to know that you will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, Lord. We're praying for family members who are sick and shut in, who are going through health issues, 
be it a cold or something more serious like COVID or even cancer or any other kinds of ailments, Lord. Just praying for those family members to continue to know that you are the ultimate physician and healer and that you will continue to deliver them if they keep their minds and hearts stayed on you, Lord. Praying for those who are bereaved and grieving loss of loved ones. Father, we just pray because your word told us that blessed are those that mourn for they shall be comforted. We know you're there to comfort them and to keep them in your care. We're praying specifically today for one of our members whose cousin lost her son, Father God, um, while she was away a son who was a young man in his young years, Lord. We're praying for that woman that she gets the strength and courage she needs as a mother to uh, not even be able to understand something like this and comprehend it, but to know that we don't always know why these things happen, but we have to trust and know who, and that who is you, Father God. You have her in the palm of your hands. Keep that mother's heart strong and comfort her. Lord, I'm praying today also, or we're praying as a group for the healing and strength for uh, just people in general who just need you, Lord. These are challenging and trying times. So many things are going on in the midst of all these challenges in our life. We're blessed to have praise reports. We've seen where you've delivered people who have been in surgery and brought them through, Lord. They serve as an example for others who may be going through and challenged. But we continue to ask that you lift up those, Lord, who are your servants, who are still standing on the wall, Lord, for anyone who's sick and shut in. And Father God, we're praying for those who think it not robbery to volunteer and to serve others. And we ask that you give them travel mercies and grace as they go out and do work of the, uh, the work of you who sent them in various places, even those like working with those that may be um, need food deprived and working at food depositories and things of that nature. Father, we're still praying, as we said before, for anyone, Lord, who has gone through this, this harrowing time in the state of Florida, especially, that was hit on land with the hurricane. But as the storm is traveling, uh, it's traveling up through the coast, through parts of Georgia and the Carolinas, and up the East Coast, even as far North as Canada, and those of us who have relatives in the Caribbean, Lord, we just pray for them as well. We pray for all those families and those who are trying to rebuild their lives or need to rebuild their lives after loss of property and homes because of the hurricane. But Lord, we know that you uh, all things happen for a reason. And Lord, we know that nothing happens without you being in the midst of it. So give those families peace and we pray that their health and strength is there and their lives are not lost. Even though their property may be damaged or gone, help them to know that they can rebuild and that they can still uh, come together in faith, knowing that you have it all in your hands. Father, we pray for wisdom and courage each and every step of the way in our daily lives and each and everything we do. You said in your word that if anyone lack wisdom, they are to ask of it, ask for it. And we're asking, Lord, for that wisdom as we go forward, Lord, to be led by your Holy Spirit uh, that it was left here after the, your son Jesus departed. He left us a comforter. And we pray that we're in a place where we can hear that voice and know that we can have all the courage and wisdom that we need if we just lean and depend on you. And we're asking for prayers for a family that um, lost their, their father, their brother-in-law, um, and you know all of those different pieces of a family. Uh, even though this gentleman was of age, Lord, uh, lived to be uh, seasoned, Saint Lord, we're praying, Father, um, for that family because his wife has, was with him for more than 70 years, Lord. And even though, Lord, he lived a long and a um, blessed life, we're praying for the family because it's still, the patriarch is gone now, Lord, and they need to be able to lean and depend on you, Lord. So bless that family. We're praying for the men of Salem, um, our church, and uh, those who are, are doing things like corner prayer, because we know, Lord, that it's a time 
there's so many things going on out in the world. It takes great courage and strength to be the mighty men of valor, to go out into the street and just pray that they will continue, Lord, to uh, be able to have that strength, guidance, and direction. And Father God, we're also praying today for uh, other families, Lord, who have lost their, their mothers and uh, other people that are going through. Lord, we're praying as well um, uh, for people who uh, have were strangers walking or on the street who stopped to help someone who was in need. Give them a special blessing today, Lord. You know who they are, and I pray, Father God, that you'll continue to give them the, um, the blessings for not just being someone who was just a walker by, but being like the Good Samaritan and stopping to help. Father, at this time, we're asking that everyone open up their mics and join together as we come together. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Thank you for your word Thank today, God. We glorify God in the heavens and the earth, Lord God. Thank you for healing, Lord God. Thank you for deliverance, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for salvation, Lord God. Thank you for comfort and strength, Lord God. Thank you for peace and love and joy. Thank you for peace, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, God. Smell, taste, God. Smell, taste. God. Smell, taste. God.